Zara documents use an amazingly powerful system of theme colours. To change the colour of any item, just tap on the item, such as this arrow. On the Properties panel, tap the colour patch. This shows a palette of colours used in this document. These are all theme colours. The colour of the current item is highlighted. As you move over the colour patches, the name of this theme colour is shown above the menu. So you can see this blue item is named Theme Colour 1. The bottom row of black and white is always there. The S means that there are lighter or darker shades of this colour. So this is a very easy way to select any shade of grey. To apply any colour from the palette, just click the colour patch and the selection will change. To change a theme colour, which means all places that this colour is used, just select the Change menu option. This takes you to the colour editor. This is the name of the theme colour. To edit the colour, just choose a hue from the spectrum of colours along the bottom, and then any lighter or darker shade here. So I'll change it to a purple colour, and a paler shade. As you can see, all the blue items have now become pale purple. This is because I changed the theme colour. But suppose I just want a new colour on this item, and not to change all occurrences of the colour. I'll select this symbol and click the colour patch. You'll see it's this colour, called Highlight Colour. To select a new colour, just click the plus symbol. This allows me to create a new colour. I'll choose bright green, and you can see the item change colour. I can even give it a name, and it's added to the palette. This makes it really easy to reuse this colour in the future. So now I can apply this colour to other items very easily. Changing the text colour is basically the same. Select some text. The current colour is indicated here. You might notice that this is also a theme colour, called text colour. And if I select change, I can edit the main text colour for the whole document. But instead of selecting to change the theme colour, I click the plus symbol. I can now create a new colour. If I enter a name here, it will be added to the palette list of theme colours. I can also change the text background colour here. Note that not all items on the page can be recolored yet, for example this chart, but this will come in a later update. 